Hello everybody, an update now on our camper van. Uh, this is our nugget that we bought in June this year. And uh, if you've been following our channel, you know that um, we're planning on always swapping this one for the long wheelbase, high top version. Uh, well, that seems to be happening now for Milano have got in touch. And uh, next month, which uh, is December, so hopefully just before Christmas, we'll collect the new camper van. First of all, we're going to do the five things we hate. Then there's going to be another episode, actually, with five things. Sorry, it's ten things. Well, I don't know. It's ten. Yeah. It's, ten. Hard, it's hard, actually, to say how many things we love, because we really love this camper. So it's probably going to be slightly biased, but we're going to try and not be too biased. So it's going to be ten things we hate, ten things we love. So starting off with ten things we hate. But actually... I don't hate anything. Yeah. Hate I don't hate anything. Anything. No, we don't because we love it, don't we? So really, if we if we titled it ten things not too bad. Not ten things that aren't <laughs> too, too bad. bad. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Well ten things that niggle us is probably better, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah. so number one is the rear heater, heater outlet. outlet. Rear heater outlet. Well it's not really in any particular order this. Down here in the nugget is a rear heater outlet. That's for the diesel heater, which runs off the it takes diesel out of the tank. Yeah, but All right. it's a toilet. Uh, it, there is a toilet down there as well. Yeah, there's two right. heater outlets. There's one here and one there. And we, we, we are really happy that there's two because it's a big van. But what we find is most of the heat comes out of the first one and very little Nothing goes at all. to these back. Hardly comes out of there. And that's where you need it because you need it to go up and keep the girls warm above. Yeah, because when it rains, it's quite cold. Well, it can be quite cold yeah. up there, can't it? But there is a solution. I don't know why Westphalia don't do it. And that is have a bit of, um, I don't know, heat retardant uh, material that just slides in and out of here just to restrict the amount of heat that comes out of that. If we were keeping it, I'd do that probably on our next van. If it's not got anything, we'd do Might that. Just that, yeah. Otherwise, it gets really hot for me and Joe downstairs and it's cold upstairs still. So that's that one. So Number like we two. Need a, balance. need a balance. Number two is the blinds. The blinds. The ah, the front blinds. Front blinds. And what we mean is the ones that you, you sucker onto here. They're stored underneath where the girls are sitting there, aren't they? So what is it we don't like about those? It's only a little tiny niggle, but the suckers are in the place of this black strip here. So whenever you want to stick them on, you can Yeah, don't they put the suckers there. I don't know why they've done that. So they don't stay on very well, but honestly, that's not a major no, issue. No, <laughs> we are really clutching at straws here for things we don't like. But the other thing is as well, they've made the suckers... Um, so, and I'll, oh, so I'll let, the let the light through. So if you're sleeping under a light, you know, a street light, or it, you know, in the summer when it gets light early, you get woken up because these little suckers are just letting the light through. I'll show you a little video on that now that I did the other day. So here we are camping in daytime. Can you see where they've put these suckers? The light beams through. Why they didn't make them black, I don't know. Oh, number, number three. three is the water pipe which is oh yeah underneath the it go, it's, it's actually a soft pipe that goes underneath the sink yeah go just hop off there and we'll show you just 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 water. stand up the other side there okay. that's it we'll show you the problem with this so when you pull the seat forwards you can see there's storage behind here where we keep our bedding and then there's like a, a services box underneath it has here Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. That's yeah. what you mean, isn't it? All right, I'll bring you around the back. Coming into the back here, you can see this is like the services area. When you lift this up, can you see there's the water tank? All right. Problem is here, if you get this a little bit tra trapped, this is just a little bit of wood with a a little wooden foot on it and you can easily trap the water pipe on there and if you do that stick all your bedding in then your water doesn't run and you think you've got a problem with the water system so it's just a case of knowing but i think they could have tidied that up a bit better and made it so um that didn't get caught in the way because it's just a little bit of a path you can see it, this this usually gets stuff full so that's a another little niggle but i think when you know about it it's fine What's next on the agenda then? Uh, let's see. Oh, 
Number four is the downstairs bed. Well, we've kind of started getting that out, but let's leave that till the end to show you what the problem is with that, So, because we'll get everyone out of the van. So, number five is the speakers. What's wrong with the speakers? Well, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> There's only speakers in the front. Yes. Is something that, I, I think because we had the California before, which had rear speakers, we were used to having rear speakers, and now we don't have rear speakers here. So it is a bit of a shame really because the girls that are sitting behind can't hear the stereo as well. No, that's right. So we have the stereo on really loud in the front and they can't hear it very yeah, good in the back. Yeah. It's, Although it's... they're not so far away as in the California, so no. they're closer. But I think it would be nice if they did put speakers. I think in the um, Nugget Plus they do have additional speakers at the back here. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, but on this good. one, on the short wheelbase, they don't. Okay, so number six is the net which is on the uh, upper bed oh yes and this is a net that has four fixings to the ceiling which hangs i'll show them here we go hangs you hold that for me up. right so i'll put the bed up Whee, there you go and do the clip and uh there yeah goes. the the net is um a bit of a faff do you want to come around here and show them um, hang on a second, I've got a few on my lap. Izzy, would you like to carry the sure. camera around for Daddy? Ooh. So, welcome to the top bed. Here it is. Where me, Poppy and Holly sleep. Yes, this is where you sleep, isn't it? Yeah. So these are usually up, fastened up high in the roof. And of course, to get the kids out, you take those out. But then these things are flailing around a bit. We can go the wrong side up here. That's what happened, yeah. Like that. And then uh, when I pulled, I didn't realise it was hanging, it was down the side, and then I pulled the bed down and it got trapped. Then it's actually marked the um, the plastic there a little bit. Uh, it's just something to be aware of. Okay, what else then? Pockets on the back of the seat. Oh yeah, the pockets on the back of the seats. Well, there's no pockets on the back of the seats. That's one thing that we are missing really because we had them in the California and we used to fill them up with the kids books yeah. and toys and because there's nothing there it seems like a bit of a even waste of space. Yeah. Even your stamp is, yeah, so we're missing those. So the thing is, the, the, the space... Although there is loads of side pockets well, down here. Down there, there is, and, there is a and big even in here as well. But the, but the thing is, it, the, the Nugget is very clever in the design of all these pockets. I mean, the, the Ford Transit itself has got pockets absolutely everywhere, which is brilliant. It's so why they, so why they haven't put pockets on the backs of the seats, I'm not sure. But uh, it's a simple fix to do that, so it would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, what else then? Number... I think it's eight. Number eight. Catching the shade. Right, so this is one where when you take the blind out, they, they were talking about this blind now on the outside. Now I know this isn't a Ford thing, but when you have a blind connected to the nugget, the way, sorry guys, I've just got to close the door a second. Uh, when you put the, the handle in here to wind it, it's uh, got a metal end on it and it comes really close to the bodywork. So we've actually uh, made a, um, a roll out, um, it's like an old bit of tarpaulin there with some suckers on it. And I suck that to the window when I'm rolling the blind in and out just to protect the bodywork. So it's just something which uh, you could make a mistake very easily and make a big mess on the paintwork. So what's numbers next then? Number nine, is USB. Number, nine. number nine, yeah. Well, USB. there's a really useful USB, uh, sorry, a 12 volt cigarette lighter socket here. Yes, we use that one all the time, don't we? Yeah, so we use that all the time at night time. If we're not plugged into the electric, this means. So the, the purpose of this niggle is that if you are not on electric at night, this is the only place, or one of the, I think there's one more in the cab actually, but when you're sleeping, to charge your phones you're using the car's battery rather than your le leisure battery and it comes off here like my phone and your phone or any of our phones and we've got five lots of but, stuff to but, charge up every night I, but and I don't have any phone. not yet no you don't want that i got my old phone yeah. 
And the, the the thing is, from this point backwards in the van, there is nothing else that's live when you're only on 12 volt. And that's just a little bit of an oversight. It's not so good for the girls either because um, um, when they're up here, there's nowhere to charge anything. So it would be nice to have a USB sockets at the back here somewhere. Uh, obviously there's power here. So why there can't be a 12 volt socket there, I don't know, but it'd be really useful if there was. What's next? Uh, no oh, this is number yeah. 10. Number 10. Number 10 of our niggly, hatey things. Right, so reason is when it rains in here, or sorry, when it rains, it doesn't rain in here, thankfully, but um, it, you see in the back here, and this is specific for the nugget pop top, um, it is dark, all right? So what you want to do when you arrive on site, of course, is open these up or in the morning or whatever to get some more light in. But there's no plexiglass here. So rain, if it's driving in a little bit, just comes in. So you can't see any view and you can't let any light in. So it'd be nice if there was another zip there with the plexiglass on it. So you could actually see the view, get some light in, but not get wet. It's really Hello. cozy. Uh, it's raining over here. Can you feel the rain coming on you? Yeah. How can you feel the rain? It's, it's coming just here. coming out yeah. there slightly. It's no, yeah, it is actually. Yeah, it's driving in now. Oh, yeah. What? It went on my eyeball. <laughs> Let's keep that closed a little bit. I know, but, but we'll look out. I know, that's true. If you it's fine, I can it, have a shower. A bit like. Yes, that'll get the inside. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm having a shower. And it's the same all the way around. This one at the back. This is actually, this is at an angle. And because it's at an angle, then of course the weather will come in there. Um, so I think that's number 10. That's, um, number 10. that's number 10. Oh, there was just something 10 and a bit, I which... I think there's, it's number 11 and... We said 10 things though, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of what, what I was... One more thing I just wanted to say. So it's like 10 and a quarter. See these curtains? The curtains are brilliant. So in our 10 things we love, the curtains do feature in that. Yeah. We love the curtains as opposed to the blinds, but you've got to be really careful that you've tucked them away properly. Otherwise, if you've got a dirty van, your curtains get dirty. A minor thing. How is that possible? Because look, those curtains are touching the outside of the van. So you don't want dirty curtains. Yeah. <laughs> right. So that's it. We've just got to show the bed now because that was number... Okay. I do a little camper. Oh, cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's nice. A so, camper! Uh, that's, things, that's things we love. We can't show those yet. Eh? Can oh. we see? All right, 10 things we hate. Uh, so, lower bed and belts. Right, girls, hop out and we'll do the... Uh, hop out! Yeah! We'll do the lower bed. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, to set the beds up, you have to have these seats. Ideally, facing forward, which that comes out. All well, our bedding in the way. <laughs> Obviously, I should have prepared this earlier. What we what we do is we carry this topper, as you can see, and there's mine and Joe's bedding, and the kids' bedding also squeezes into here. And then there's an infill section here, which lifts up, like that. Right, so that's the downstairs bed made up. It's actually not too uncomfortable. It's not as comfortable as the upstairs bed, but there's some ridges here, which is why we put this over, and we hook that over then. And we've got our yeah, it just seat. makes it a bit more snuggly. Got... I'd say it's more comfortable than the California downstairs bed though yeah it is isn't it that was that had some real hard spots in it it did definitely so it's more comfortable than that for sure the california but when it's like that can you see there's no support for this edge of the bed there oh hang on you see that there's, there's just nothing here to support the bed it's not actually resting on anything and uh what what is obviously something that you want to do when you're in bed at night is i'll just take my shoes off is sleep to sit here but as you do that you see what happens to the bed if you sit like that it's nice but the bed breaks its back 
And why they've made it like that, I don't know. Um, Unless there is a fix that we don't know about. I don't know. Well, there is one which I'll show you now, but it's not as good. But if you don't then do anything about that, when you light on it, your head's going downhill. We could put a block of wood or something under there to stop it. Right, but that's back where it should be now. Because if you don't sit on it directly, it doesn't go down, does it? No. If you just lay your head it's on there, there now. it's okay. fine. Yeah, it's but just it's when you actually you just put some all your weight on it. It goes. Um, and it's nice to be able to sit with your back against there, reading and stuff, isn't it? So this is kind of a fix, which we found works quite nicely. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd know better by now. Is you have to have the seats like that. But, but then that stick a little over it. It's a little bit over it. But, oops, you get the idea, I think. Still put that on there like that and put your sheet over. And it's propped up slightly. Right, but now you can't put, you, you haven't got a backrest anymore. That's the downside with this. But, because it's like leaning over that way. But now when you sleep on it, put a small pillow it's there. It's quite comfy. And it's actually better and it doesn't collapse and it feels as though you're helping to support the bed. Now this is probably one of the biggest niggles of the downstairs bed on the, on the nugget. Take it with, like, how, how much of it yeah, see what you think. A comment below if there's anything, or maybe you've got one of these, or maybe you've been watching our, our videos, things that you think you love or things that you don't think are very good on it. We'd be keen to know someone else's opinion, but for us as a family of five, it's virtually perfect. The long wheelbase one with a high top and fixed toilet, we think, we hope at least, is going to be absolutely perfect for us. So please follow us as we uh, then transition to the new camper.